has changed through history, from baseball caps to garden party hats to hats you wear to Del Mar. There are hats for everybody. Susan Lee from the Village Hat Shop joins us now with the latest trends. Hello. Hi. Thanks for picking this out for me. I like oh, it. Oh, yeah. Looks Pretty good. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes I think people just don't wear hats. They just they just don't think that it's some important. But in some cultures and in some worlds, if you don't have your hat on, you're not dressed. It's true. It's true. And I think it's because of the Southern California laid back, right. casual lifestyle that everybody just kind of pops on a, you know, a bucket or a ball cap. And, you know, we're here, we've been here for, you know, since 1980, and we're okay. always promoting headwear and anything to top off an outfit to this look This will be really, a really big weekend for you, being Easter. Yeah, Easter is very important for us, as well as uh, opening day of the Del Mar races. Right, we get right. a lot of business, we get a lot of customers coming in looking well, for us. Let's talk about the cool trends. Top. Like this one, for example, this is a very, very wide brim. Very wide brim. This um, is definitely focused in on sun protection, right. and it's a very lightweight hat. It's breathable. It's made out of ribbon. Oh, just nice. sewn onto itself. So this is really, really popular with our customers. And this I see is like twenty one dollars. Yes. Kind of, so can you can you crunch it up and put it in your bag? It is a packable hat and so oh, you good. can go ahead and crunch it up and it's got the wire in the brim so you can pop it back into oh, shape nice. and it'll nice. All right, so this is more for the beach, but then you've got a little, little fancier. Yeah, We've got the dress nice. hats, and these are all made out of, um, this is a cinnamon strong, so is this, and it's just all natural fibers. They're extremely breathable. They're totally lightweight That's and easy I, to wear. And you can see your hairdo, too, underneath. Yeah, Sometimes you don't, important. Yeah, you don't always have to sacrifice your hairdo to wear a hat, and right. sometimes you do get hat hair. And other I mean, this is fuchsia, and the red, and the black, so colors are, are they kind of coming out this Jewel way? tones are really, really popular, as well as black and white graphic prints are oh. something you'll see, so you can always wear... You know, an all-white outfit. All right, here's another question. Do you have, does your hat have to match your outfit? Not necessarily. Okay. It does need to coordinate in some way if you can tie it into an so accessory or shoes. Things. All right, let's go for the models here and show off these cool hats on your friends. So uh, who are we starting out with? We've got Michelle here, and she's got a bow straw boater. And um, it is a curved down brim, so it frames the face, and it's got the Pretty. square top. Very nice. And then can you change the color of the bow on top, you know, for example? Um, you, you can try that. to add a little bit, but add you can't really something. change that bow. It's already stitched on. All right. And for the fellas, of course, we need to talk about the uh, the gentlemen's hats as well. Matt's wearing the Jackson Dino fedora. And we've got the pug band that's around it that's resembling a tie. Mm -hmm. That's really popular in men's um, hats for trim. And what, is a, what does a men's hat like that go for? This one retails, I think, for around twenty-four ninety-five, oh, maybe nice. and actually lower than that. It's that kind of that straw feel. It's Very a Toyo nice. straw, but it looks really classy. It looks yeah, really clean. Nice yeah. Okay, how about the next one? Back to the kind of hot pink. This really looks like an Easter bonnet here. Today. Definitely. This is Rose, and she is wearing a cinnamon straw with uh, its self trim, and it's got an interesting crown. It's slanted, and it's also kind of got a bump in it, so it's adding a little bit of an interesting touch to it as well as really the contrast. really have big hair underneath there and it wouldn't get nice. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And uh, we got uh, the next fella. Opie is wearing Opie. our Bailey Monroe fedora. This is a Toyo braid fedora and it's a two-tone, which is actually very popular with men's <laughs> styles as well. Opie, give us a little spin or something, big fella. He was dancing before <laughs> off camera. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you taking a picture of me? Uh-oh. <laughs> It's Opie. Look out. Very nice, my friend. It gives you a lot of confidence it and does. personality. It does. Let's talk some more about these. You've got, um, this is kind of a, what is this? Look? This is a cloche. Oh, you've got and it. cloche in French means bell. So it's a bell oh, okay. shape and uh, it's definitely form fitting to the head and worn low and was made popular in the 20s. Is it, let me ask another question. Bang or no bang? Bangs it with the hair? You can wear bangs. We typically Important. wouldn't we're wearing hats, we kind of wear, wear them down lower. So you can push them back if not, but then if you push them back, you That's have a chance of getting hat hair. <laughs> All right, Susan Lee, the Village Hat Shop is on 4th? On 4th Avenue as well as in Seaport Village. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, you. you guys. You look fabulous.